New York City rationing toilet paper at Coney Island. That's right. Even though it's a big profit center for New York City and you got to pay for the rides and stuff, uh, you get one sheet of toilet paper. So, Because, see, everything's got to go to the bankers. Over 80 new taxes in New York City and New York State combined the last couple of years. Total control. More bureaucracy. And then you go anywhere where there's city buildings, you got to bring your own toilet paper. And, and, and the police now are arresting even pregnant women or giving them tickets if they sit on a bench more than five minutes waiting for a bus. So they got all these rules to harass us, but, but then I, uh, there's all these videos I was watching. What's his name? Jimmy Justice. I'm going to get that guy on the show where he shows cops smoking in their squad cars, cops parking in front of fire hydrants, going in with their families and stores. Uh, cops come up and attack him, knock a camera out of his hand. But then you do, do anything in New York. I mean, I, I saw videos. I never played it a few weeks ago. I played some, some of them, and I ran out of time, where it shows video after video where cops smoke cigarettes and cigars while they choke an ABC reporter, while they choke other media. They're like, you can't film here. It's on, he goes, well, this is a... I'm on the sidewalk here. I'm, I'm ABC News. There's a big truck right there. He goes, oh, and the cop goes, I told you. Starts choking. He goes, wait. And the guy goes, as soon as they uh, uh, submits when they grab him, he goes, okay, I'll move to the other side of the street. And he goes, no, and grabs him by the throat. The cops are choking him, and they look like something out of a science fiction nightmare tyranny. You know, a lot of dystopic science fiction movies, the cops almost wear like old-fashioned clothes, and they've all got like little pot bellies. And, and their shirts are real tight, and they look real goonish, and the hats are way down on their heads, you know, over their nose, or way back, and their whole mannerisms like, yeah, and they've got cigars while they're choking him. Going, oh, hey, he's going to take care of them for you. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's like a nightmare. So the cops are just driving around drinking in their squad car, cigarettes. They just get out, waddle up to you. Some are all pot-bellied. Others have got big steroid arms, walking up to even families. Pittsburgh, old ladies come out with their shopping bags. They go, no one allowed on the streets. They're like, okay, officer, well, we're shopping. Didn't move quick enough. Release the dog. It's biting old women. <laughs> and the cops put statements out. This is the way we handle it. We said get off the street. And they're like, okay. I'll. They even wanted to grovel. They're like, yes, sir. We were just shopping. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, death to America. Death to freedom. Just total goonism everywhere. Now, of course, we cover it in uh, Truth Rising. See, I couldn't cover the nose here. Uh, Truth Rising. I played it a few weeks ago. It's so incredible. Where they go out in front of Building 7, the new Building 7, Larry Silverstein, owner of the complex. They have a sign saying, you know, Larry pulled, you know, Larry pulled Building 7. Or building 7 was pulled. I forget the exact term. No, that day it was investigate Building 7. You can pull up the video and see the banner. The point is, they're standing on the, across the street on the sidewalk. And they've been there over and over again. Even jumped through the hoops to get the permits. And these guys show up directly out of Goodfellow Central Casting. With, one of them with a pipe. And he goes, hey, I mean, I can play the clip. I played it last week. Right out of a Bugs Bunny movie. You know, how, how the gangsters act in a Bugs Bunny movie. And I always thought those movies were, like, exaggerating. No, 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 no. I have experienced in New York police and security people that literally are more gangsterous than the movies. And he goes, listen, I know you don't have a bomb, but I'm going to say you got one. And you're going to get 30 days in the hole. Look who's going to jail. Look who's going to jail. <laughs> this goes on for five minutes. Then the cops show up and he goes, I think he's got a bomb in the bag. And the cops go, you know what he does? This camera's a gun. And they go, <laughs> that's what tyranny is. That's what North Korea is. Just when these people can come to your house, do what they want with your wife. They got the guns. They got the weapons. They got the pot bellies. They got the roids. They got the t devil tattoos. They got it all. They got gangster suits and pipes and cigars. Hey, listen here, little boy. You don't do this in America. I'm going to say you got a bomb. And they commit a fake bomb threat, call it in on tape. The police come, go along with it, and say, look, gets out of here, or we're going to... We're going to say it's a bomb. And Luke goes, okay. And they're so dumb, they even give them the camera back. They call in fake bomb threats on video and release someone they know has a YouTube channel because they can do whatever they want. America is their broke-backed whore. America is here to have cigarettes put out on it like some tortured child in a dungeon. 
America is here to serve evil. And as long as we got 4th of July and hot dogs and people can flap big giant American flags made in China from the back of their foreign made pickup trucks. I took a photo of that yesterday and uploaded it to my Twitter channel, twitter.com forward slash real Alex Jones, which I'm really starting to add a lot of interesting stuff to. And see, I'm the conspiracy theorist. I'm the bad man. Conspiracy theory is now being able to tell two plus two equals four. Conspiracy theory is now saying, oh, they declassified that they did harass and intimidate and then grab Ernest Hemingway and uh, electroshock him until he had no mind and he got out and committed suicide. It's admitted they did it, but because they said it was a conspiracy theory for decades, you are still bad even when it's admitted. And even though we have the police on tape with a fake bomb threat that's a violation of the Patriot Act and state and other federal laws, they don't care because they run America. They, the government ships in the narcotics, the government runs the sex slavery, the government puts poison and bisphenol A in your food, the government has made diabetes and cancer go off the chart. Cancer, cancer's doubled in the last 10 years. Diabetes has doubled in the last 10 years, and it's set to double again. And they're just going to, and your wives, your husbands, everybody's going to die around you, neighbors dying, children with, with chemotherapy. You go to the mall now, there's kids everywhere with shaved heads, hair falling out, black circles around their eyes, angel of death, murdering them. And none of you will stop them. None of you will stop them. None of you, because it's too important to live in delusions. It's too important to live in lies. It's too important to watch your sitcoms and your dramas. It's too important to live in fantasy land and not be able to admit the evil, just like the Germans couldn't admit the evil of what was going on right under their noses, and the Soviets couldn't as well. Well, not me. I'm still a red-blooded American, and I'm here to raise the alarm in the spirit of 1776. Murder is straight